Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay, so let us see if we have understood this by doing a simple tutorial problem. So this problem will run now in the whole class for all the examples that we see. So we assume there is an airship of 6000 meter cube and uh, envelope volume and a balloon of 2400 meter cube at sea level condition. Hmm? So we are using sea level conditions and for simplicity we are ignoring the relative humidity that means that E will be 0. We are also ignoring superheat and also ignoring the super pressure. So, calculate I at sea level and I at H equal to 5000 meters. So, first part of this I, I at sea level, you should do it orally. What will be I at sea level? 0.6. Simple. 6000 total minus 2400 uh, air difference will be 3600 divided by 6000 that will be the amount of the fraction of the gas. So, it is 0.6. Okay. So, we are coming to the same question that I showed you earlier. C level the value of I is 0.6. Okay. Now, I am asking you what happens to the I at H equal to 5000 meter? It will be 1 but just confirm it. It should be 1 because we have just now seen that graph for sea level condition I equal to 0.6 it goes to 1.0. So, please reconfirm this it you may get 0.999 or 0.998 etc. but reconfirm it please. So, how do you confirm this? You have that formula I2 by I1. So, now what you need to do is you need to calculate the pressure at 5000 meters. How do you do that? What is the pressure at sea level? 101325 Pascals. Okay. How do you get the ambient air pressure under ISA conditions at 5000 meters? Correct. So, there is a simple formula which I would like you to remember and that is that uh, there is a parameter called uh, delta and a parameter called theta. Theta is temperature ratio. Okay. So, theta is equal to T upon T naught, T naught being the sea level condition and T being the condition at any altitude. So, T by T naught is the temperature ratio. So, the value of T at any altitude up to 11 kilometers, 11,000 meters will be 6.5 degree reduced per kilometer altitude from sea level value of 288.16 or take it as 288. So, first get the value of temperature at this particular altitude that will be 288 minus 5 into 6.5, right. Okay. So, now you have the temperature at 5 kilometer altitude in ISA conditions. Now, uh, the pressure ratio that is P by P naught also called as delta is equal to theta or T by T naught to the power 5.235, 5.236 I think. This is only under ISA conditions. So, the value of P by P naught or P2 by P1 where 2 is the 5000 feet and 1 is sea level that will be equal to T2 by T1 to the power 5.253, 5.256. So, give me the value of P, P5000 by P sea level 0.5. Okay, 3 digits is okay, 3 or 4 digits are sufficient. Okay. So, now what will be I2 by I1? I2 by I1 will be equal to the 
the pressure ratio only. So, to get I2, you just multiply I1, which is 0.6, with this ratio. No, no, I think you are you are doing the opposite. Instead of dividing, you are multiplying. So you are getting two. In fact, you should divide then. So notice I2 by I1 is equal to P1 by P2. So I2 will be I1 into P1 by P2. So P1 by P2. P1 is the sea level. P2 is the ambient at 5000. So the number will be more than 1. P1 will be more than 1. Point five three, okay. And then, if you multiply by I one, what do you get? Point nine nine nine. We expect it to be nearly one. Correct. So it's correct. So that's right. I S L is equal to point oh, not point four. Point six. And I at five k will be point nine nine nine. Okay. So this was for uh, now. Let's let's calculate. The change in the <coughs> gross lift. Hmm? Point six, point six. Yeah, it is correct. It is point six. I am going to correct it. ISL is point six, not point four, and I five K is point nine nine nine. Okay. So estimate delta L G, delta V B A, and delta L N. Now delta V B A is what volume of the balloon air, not not the weight. So you have to just get it from the density because it is ISA conditions. Therefore, density of air at ISA is 1.2256 kg per meter cube. So first calculate delta LG, then WBA, hence VBA, and then delta N, which is the net gross lift. So I will open the formula for you. You have to use uh, these two expressions. First expression that you need to use is LG. So for LG, this is LG. So PS, delta PS is now 100. So delta P means this. This is delta P. PS2 minus PS1 is 100 Pascals. So LG will be 100 into K V by TA. All you need is the value of K. V is the volume which is already given 6000 meter cube. TA is the ambient air temperature. And you are uh, talking about sea level. So, what is delta LG first? 30? 33 Newtons. 33 kilo no delta lg 33 kilo newton so much change it is only 100 pascal 101325 is the total pressure you are on delta p is only 100 it should be 70 i think Haan, around 70 is what i expect around 70 okay now let us go up and let us look at how do you get the value of uh, volume of balloon air. So for that you have to use this equation number 3. Equation number 3 contains difference of the pressure. So that delta P is PS2 minus PS1 is 100 divided by TA which is the ambient air temperature 288.16. Delta TSH is 0, we are ignoring superheat. No, the question is at sea level. See, the question is at sea level. So, you take it at sea level. 
So WBA2 minus WBA1 will be 100 into K into 6000 upon TA plus delta TSH. Delta TSH is being ignored, right? No superheat change in the current uh, calculations. So you will get the weight of the balloon air, and with the density you can get the volume. So what is the volume? Change in the volume of the balloon air. All students must bring calculators in this class. Actually, it is quite straightforward. Why so much time? So, what is WBA? Delta WBA, sorry. 71 what? Grams, kg, newton? Newton. So, now you get it from density. From density, get it in meter cube. No? 6 meter cubes. That is right. That is the correct answer. Uh, it should be approximately 5.9 to 6 meter cubes. Okay. Now, what about delta n? Delta n will be equal to delta. Delta n will be equal to delta L, delta L G. Okay. So now is the time for me to correct it and make it 0 0.6. 